it's our fifth day in Greece, I think it's the fifth one. And today we are joining a tour to the islands uh, Paxis and Antipaxis, I think. But the thing I'm most excited about is the Blue Lagoon. We joined Ionian Cruises. You definitely can find other providers. They um, offer tours like not every day, but you can see like the dates that are more suitable for you. But what I like the most about this tour is that it's multilingual. We actually ordered it with a pickup from the hotel, but it won't be with a pickup from the hotel. They will pick us up in the nearest city, which is like one hour on foot. <laughs> That's why we had to order a taxi. So we had to take a taxi to take the shuttle then. As far as I understood, they picked tourists from the hotels that were on the way, but if your hotel happens to be somewhere off the road, you'll have to come to the pickup point. Our ferry tour departed from the main Cove harbor and then it stopped at the second harbor. If you have a choice where to board, do choose the main harbor because by the time we boarded, all good places were taken. The first stop on our tour was in Gaius. The city features traditional Ionian architecture with narrow streets, colorful houses and Venetian-style buildings. So our first stop is Paxos, it's one of those two islands that we're going to visit and we stopped uh, at Caius, it's like the main city of the island, so we have a couple of hours to explore it. It's kind of nice to come to a place that you know absolutely nothing about. <laughs> two hours which was perfect to grab something to eat, do some shopping and enjoy the views. By the way, look how big the portions in Greece are! Paxos, including Gaius, is known for its high-quality olive oil with many olive crops dotting the landscape. That's why you can find some really cool souvenirs like soaps or cutting boards from olive wood. The cats of Paxos, like on many Greek islands, have become a distinctive part of the local culture. Many of these cats are cared by the local community and, of course, tourists who feed them a lot. The waters around Paxos look exceptionally clear, despite a big number of ferries and yachts. The island's coastline and seabed are composed of white limestone and chalk. These bright reflective surfaces enhance the blue color of water. It is an important thing to remember because the next stop was the Blue Lagoon. 
The purity of the water allows sunlight to penetrate deeply, reflecting off the white sand and rocky seabed to create a brilliant blue hue. The Blue Lagoon is most easily accessible by boat. Many visitors take boat tours from Paxos or even from the mainland of Greece to enjoy a day at the lagoon. There are also private boat rentals available for those who wish to explore their own pace. Frankly speaking, it is a way better choice as it was super crowded when two ferries stuck and everyone wants to swim at the same time. And don't forget to take a mask for snorkeling too! On the other side of the island there are even more beautiful things to see. You'll find lots of caves that were naturally formed from the erosive action of the sea on the cliffs over thousands of years. According to mythology, the islands of Paxos were created when the god of the sea, Poseidon, pierced the island of Corfu with his trident, causing the southern tip to break off. Thus, were Paxos and Antipaxos created as separate islands, where Poseidon could retreat with his mistress Amphitryate. I really like that we also came inside the caves and not only saw them from a distance, it makes you feel the dimensions better. The way back was pretty similar to the beginning of the tour, make sure to disembark at the same harbor because your transfer will be waiting for you there. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up!